Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this uh, soft glam. If you're in a hurry, this is a makeup tutorial for you. Um, so let's get started. So first things first, I'm priming my face and I'm using the Superstay Maybelline uh, Primer. So I'm going to apply it all over my face. Of course, concentrating on the part of my face that get oily. And then next step, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me uh, powder. And this is just to set everything together before I go in with my foundation. I like this step because it helps my makeup last longer. And then now I'll go in with my Maybelline Fit Me uh, foundation in shade 360. All the products I'm going to use, I'm going to be in the description below, so don't you worry. Yeah, so I'm just tapping it on my face and then I'm going to blend, blend, blend. And I'm using this sponge by Miniso. Now, this step is very crucial, guys. When you're blending, make sure to blend, blend, and blend again. Because this is what differentiates a uh, cakey or not blended makeup and really blended makeup. Okay? So, this is your make or break process. So, you need to take time with it. Yep. And as you can see, I am really breaking out on my forehead, which is really, really sad. I actually don't know what is happening. I used to get this when I was on my menses and now I think it's back. I hate it so much because if you have rashes or pimples, your makeup won't look as that flawless. And so then I'm going in with the same Maybelline Fit Me powder and this is to set my foundation. So the technique I like to use is to tap the product into my skin rather than just rubbing the brush all over my skin and this helps it to last longer. Um, yeah, next step is my eyebrows. Now if you haven't watched my eyebrow tutorial, go and do that because on this step, I'm not really going to make it as detailed as I did on that video. So check it out. So here I just uh, shape them uh, according to the shape that I want, clean them up up real quick uh, brush them with a spoolie and I am good to go cleaning up your brows with a concealer is what like really really improves the way the brow looks it's very very defined and the concealer I'm using uh, I think it's the shade expresso of the LA girl as I said, all the products I use are going to be in my description, so don't you worry, I got you. Now on to the eye makeup and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer I think in shade, in shade Toast. And here I'm just applying on my eyelid. Now concealer on the eyelid is like a primer step which helps your um, eyeshadow to last longer and then blend, blend it around. And then after you're blending it, do not forget to set it with a powder and this will prevent it from your eyeshadow from creasing. To set that concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me uh, powder and I'm just dabbing it onto my eyelid as you guys can see here. And now to the fun part! I'm using the Ever Beauty Take Me to the Carnival eyeshadow palette. I love this palette so much. And first of all, I'm starting with that maroon, dark maroon shade. And I'm applying it on my crease and also a little bit on the top of my crease. And then blend it, blend it together. And then I'm using this brown earthy color and I'm going to apply it on my eyelid next to the maroon shade and blend them together to create a nice soft transition. And then onto the lid, I'm using that brown golden shimmery color. I really love to apply the golden shimmery colors on my eyelids, you guys, if you have not noticed yet. Um, yeah, I think it makes my eyes look bigger and they pop. It makes me feel like I have golden eyes. Yeah, I really love these colors, you guys. But doesn't it look nice? Like, look at how golden and shimmery it looks. It looks really nice, right? 
and then to smoke out the corners of my eyes i'm using that dark uh, brown shade and i'm just applying it at the corners and blending it together with a shimmery shade to make everything flow and blend and look flawless together yeah <laughs> And then on the lower part of my eye, I'm using the maroon shade that I used at the beginning. Ah, the bindingi in the bindingi, the one I use in the bindingi. <laughs> yeah, so just blend everything together. And then for eyeliner, I'm using this generic cajol, which is almost running out. I need to replace this, you guys. Quick tip on applying the lower eyeliner just look away don't look at the eyeliner or focus on it too much just distract yourself and it's going to work and then onto mascara i'm using the maybelline rocket mascara to just pop out my eyelashes now if you want your eyelashes to pop even more just add two or more layers of the mascara and it's going to make your eyelashes look thicker longer and better i then repeat the same process for the lower lashes and these ones are smaller, so I just apply kidogo kidogo and then I am done. To keep reminded, so onto the lips, I'm using the Davis pencil in number 003. It's the same one that I use on my eyebrows and I'm just lining my lips. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me concealer and this is in shade I think Kef. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to apply it on my lips and this will make the lipstick look more toned down. Yeah, so I just apply and uh, fluff my lips together like that. And then I'm using the middle finger to blend it throughout my lips, especially at the corners of my lips where the concealer had not reached. And then I'm using this Kiss Beauty Silk Lipstick onto my lips and this is going to be the final step. So I'm just applying it on my lips like this onto the bottom then put my lips together to blend it out and then concentrate more on the corners of my lips which have not yet caught a lipstick. Blend it together and mm, I really love the shade of this you guys. And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to comment, subscribe, like, share. And until next time, choose kindness and be safe. Bye!